Hello and welcome once again to the channel of Truth. My name is Kofi Techi and I am most grateful to have you here again with me. If you are a returning subscriber, the love is massive. Thank you so much for your support for this channel. And if it is your first time being here or seeing my video, if this is your first time coming here to watch my videos, I would urge you to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on anything I share here on the channel. Um, it is a pleasure to have you come or travel to the UAE to live, work, and then, you know, have fun. Like, it is fun to be in the UAE, especially to Dubai, to Abu Dhabi, to Fujairah, um, Ras Al-Khaimah, Sharjah, wherever you find yourself in the UAE, it is a pleasure to find you here. Being in the UAE, maybe you, you might have a change of mind as to whether to stay in the country to work or go back to your country. But if you have intentions of living and working here in the UAE, I am here to guide you. Like, whatever you need, tips and guides that you need to live without being scammed by other people because um, they think they know better than you do. Bro, you can actually do everything by yourself here in the UAE, like applying for visas, applying for driver's license, whatever it takes to be successful, or whatever it takes to live here comfortably, you can actually apply for them by yourself. Do not be scammed, do not be, you know, um, jilted by anybody, like people who themselves have nothing to offer, like there are people out there who have nothing to offer to you. So why allow yourself to be jilted by them? You understand? You can actually do anything here, everything here in the UAE by yourself, especially when it comes to issues pertaining your documents, um, your travel documents, your, your residency, your driving license and stuff like that. You can do them by yourself. There is no need to hire an agent who is going to charge you high costs and then take loads of money from you. If you are not lucky enough, these agents might do away with your, your money and you wouldn't even find them again. You understand? So I am here to guide you to easy ways and then steps by which you can obtain certain documentations by yourself. You understand? Now, what are we actually going to talk about today? Now, I would like to talk about freelance visas here in the UAE for you, especially when you are here and you would like to start working you know independently without working for um, another person or anything of that sort you understand i am here to give you a step-by-step -step guide as to how to obtain a freelance visa and whether or not it is good or okay to have a freelance visa let's delve into it first and foremost you might be asking yourself what is this guy talking about what is the freelance visa now the freelance permit in Dubai is a license issued under the TCOM group that allows you to work as an independent contractor and is renewable each year. The freelance permit is ideal for those who are on their spouse's or parent's visa and only require a license to operate as a freelancer. However, for those who aren't sponsored by their parents or spouse, they can also apply for a freelance visa in Dubai, which is a residency permit that allows the individual to live and work in the Emirates and is renewable every three years. Now that we've, we've come to understand what the freelance visa really is, who and who can actually apply for this kind of freelance visa or these visas? There are various sectors of which you can obtain freelancer eligibility in Dubai. You can apply for a freelancer eligibility in Dubai through education sector, the media sector, and then tech sector. You understand? If you are pursuing professions such as acting, screenwriting, journalism, advertising, training, education advisor, customer service or web development, you are eligible to apply for the freelance visa in Dubai. You can find a complete list of freelance activities that you are permitted to carry out with this visa on the Go Freelance website. This is where I introduce to you what the Go Freelance website is. The Go Freelance website is www.gofreelance.ae. I'm going to place a link to this website, the Go Freelance website, in the description below. Just do well to check out on it and then know where to apply for these visas and then know where to check out if you are eligible for this visa or not. I guess you know what the freelance visa is and then um, who is really eligible to apply for these freelance visas. What are the benefits that you are going to have after applying for them? It is very necessary you know what kind of benefits you would really have after applying for a freelance visa because it is a bit costly, you understand? There are several benefits of having a freelance permit and visa in Dubai. Firstly, 
it allows you the flexibility to work for multiple companies if you plan to work in any of the sectors mentioned above and don't want a nine to five job becoming a freelancer in dubai could be your best career move additionally the affordability of having a freelance visa in Dubai means you can offer your services at much lower prices. With the Go Freelance package, the setup costs are much lower and no office space is required, allowing more freelancers to enter the market. Having a freelance visa and permit in Dubai also allow you to work as an independent contractor for companies across the UAE and allows you access to the free zones business center as well. With a freelance visa in Dubai, you can also sponsor family members to come and live with you in, the, in an apartment or villa for rent in Dubai. However, bear in mind that you cannot sponsor employees with your freelance permit and visa. In as much as you can sponsor your family members, your spouse, your children, your, fa your family, in as much as you can sponsor your family into the UAE, you are not allowed. You are not allowed. Let me let me put it this way: you cannot sponsor an employee. Like you, once you have the freelance permit, that that does that does not guarantee you the right to be an employer to employ people, and then you know in return like sponsor them this is how to apply for the freelance visas you can apply for the freelance permit in uae through the go freelance website which is look at it on the screen this is it on the screen www.gofreelance.ae and then you go and apply select the option go apply and fill out the application form and submit the required documents and you're good to go you might be asking what are the kind of documents that will be needed for this visa documents for the freelance visa permit in dubai some of the documents needed to apply for the freelance permit in Dubai include resume, that is your CV. Number two, recent photograph, a passport picture, like a, re a very recent one. No need to go and pick up the one you took about four years ago. Hey, Charlie, so my you. Four years ago, I took a, a passport picture and I am still using it. It is unfair. Take a recent one and then submit. A passport and visa copy valid for at least eight months. This means your visa or your passport shouldn't be less than eight months, like um, eight months validity. It should be about, you should have about nine months remaining, 10 months and above to be eligible to apply for this visa. You understand? And then a bank reference letter, which means you should be someone who saves in a bank or you have a bank account that um, the bank can procure you or can pro pro produce or provide you um, a bank statement or a bank reference letter. Now, you should also have an, an NOC from your UAE sponsor in case you are working for someone at the moment. In case you are working for someone, your sponsor or your employer need to give you an NOC to present for the freelance visa. Please note, if you are applying for the education sector, you will have to submit proof of academic qualifications which must be certified either by the Minister of Foreign Affairs or the UAE consulate in your country of origin. Likewise, if you are applying in the media sector, you will have to submit a portfolio or sample of your work. Everything I'm reading here is actually self-explanatory and I need not to talk too much. I'll keep reading to you so that you understand, you have a better understanding um, of what I am trying to tell you. If you are on a spouse or parents visa, you will need a no objection certificate from them before applying for the permit. Likewise, if you are employed full time in Dubai and your company sponsors your visa, you will need an, an NOC from your employer. Remember that you don't require the NOC for the renewal of your Dubai freelance work permit, which means once you've been given the permit or once you've been entered into the system, when you are going in for your next renewal, you don't need an NOC. Like you already have the permit, so there is no need for you to have an NOC to renew your permit. After you have submitted your application online, you will be notified by email when it has been approved, which can take up to 10 to 15 days. After this, you will need to visit the business center in Dubai Knowledge Park, Dubai Media City or Dubai Internet City, where you will need to personally sign the documents and pay the fees. Afterwards, you will receive your freelance permit in Dubai via email. The next step here is applying for the freelance visa in Dubai. After you've got your permit, you need a visa to back it up. Once you have received your freelance permit, you will also receive access to TCOM's business service platform known as AXS. 
launched in partnership with Dubai Development Authority, the DDA, which allows you to avail a number of government corporate services. Through this platform, you can first apply for the establishment card, which will bear an additional cost. After you have received your establishment card, you can then apply for a freelance employment visa under the Dubai Development Authority, DDA which is valid for three years. By this far, I guess you would understand or you would bear with me that it is not an easy task. It is not just having a freelance visa. Once you have submitted your application for the freelance visa in Dubai, you will receive entry permits within five to seven working days. Once you receive the entry permit valid for 60 days from the date of issue, you will be required to complete certain residency visa procedures in Dubai, such as your medical tests. When these procedures are complete, your residence visa will be stamped and valid for three years from the date of issue. The cost. Now, let's delve into the cost of the freelance visa. There are actually separate costs for the free freelance permits, the establishment card, and then the freelance visa. There are separate costs. Now, the freelance permit costs 7,500 dirhams. 7,500 dirhams um, and it is valid for one year. Valid for one year. Now, the establishment card also costs 2,000 dirhams, 2,000 dirhams, and it's also valid for one year. If you are applying for the freelance employment visa in Dubai, valid for three years within the UAE, you'd have to pay um, 4,960 dirhams. 4,960 dirhams, that is, when it takes a normal you know time if it if it's one week you are going to wait, wait till one week before you get your permit but if you want an express one like you want it to be uh, you know to be a quick one like within three or four days you'd have to pay 6340 dirhams if you are applying for the freelance employment visa in dubai valid for three years outside the uae if you are applying outside the uae uae that is going to cost 3330 dirhams 3330 dirhams that is for normal days like you, you you apply and then wait till it comes wait patiently till it comes now if you want an express one if you want a quick one then you would have to pay 3900 3900 dirhams for express please note that the above costs for the freelance employment visa includes charges for your medical tests visa stamping and emirates id if you have more questions about the freelance permit in dubai or in uae i would urge you to contact these numbers that i am going to put on the screen so when you get in touch with go freelance they will explain things further and then take you on a ride as to how to obtain a freelance visa here in dubai you understand i guess i have done just once again to this video and i hope it is insightful like it, it is it is of great essence or importance to you thank you so much for joining me on this one till this far and if you've been able to make it to this far i know you're subscribed already to the channel hit the like button if this video is of importance like if it has helped you in any way just hit on the like button and then share the link like share my links make i reach more people i want to reach more people so that i can also you know help make life easier for other people who intend to travel to the uae or need this kind of information to live and work in the UAE. You understand? Yeah. As usual, my name is Kofi Techi, and if you are a returning subscriber, you know the love is deep. I love you so much and thank you so much for your support. If you're new to the channel and you've been able to watch to this far, then I guess you love the video and would do well to subscribe. Just hit on that subscribe button. Please hit on that subscribe button because I really need that subscription. I'll keep you updated from day to day or from time to time so that you get yourself, you know, um, renewed in thoughts as to what is really happening in the UAE. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. Until we meet again, just stay safe, stay out of trouble, and be good. See you on the next one.